Hello. <laughs> Hello. Is this are you, is this a partner? Uh, this is Jessica. Hello, Jessica. <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Glad to know the connection works. Amazing. From Indonesia to the Bay Area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. So am I the first? I guess I'm the only one on. Yeah. I I I don't think everyone anyone's very experienced with this. Um. So I'm gonna keep. <laughs> Trying to um, email folks also, but yes. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll let you do your your typing and your managing then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kind of ironic. We're all the ones studying technology, but we can't figure it out. Yeah, but also we're 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 even even though this has been around for a year, the early adopters. So it's um. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Um, Ah, great. More and more. Kushku and Aparna and Swati, fantastic. Greetings, welcome. Is there any way to make the biggest image not your own face? I think if you're the speaker, you become the um, biggest image. And perhaps if you are um, the, you, you may be the biggest face of your own computer too. I'm not sure. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't catch that. Okay. You may also be the biggest face on your own computer as well. Oh, I just, I just figured it out. You just click on whatever image you want to see. That's cool. <laughs> Does someone need to mute the microphone? I don't know if my connection is fast enough for this. This is great for now. This is very great. Let's see. So you're, I see Aparna. Very nice to meet you. You're over on the left of my screen. And um, Kushbu, I only see a picture of you. I don't see you in in video. Um, can you hear us, Kushbu? And can you speak? I, I can tell you there's some problem with my video. Okay. And Swati, I see you over on the bottom right of my screen. Very nice to meet you. Can you hear us, Swati? I can't hear you. Uh, um, let's test. Aparna, speak Speak now. Uh, can't hear Aparna. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Now, can hear you now. Swati, so uh, Unmute your mic. Can you speak? Kushtu, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Hi. We can hear you too. And Swati, can you hear us? Somebody listening to the radio or something? I hear voices in the background. Oh, it's gone.
I'm emailing a number of people who are asking questions through email and then emailing people back. So please be patient. And this chaos is to be expected in the first time in a Google Hangout. So uh, Aparna, are you here for the first time in a Google Hangout? Yes, I am. Oh, fantastic. OK. And, and are, are you Jessica? Me? Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. OK, and Kushbu also, first time? Yeah, yeah. And Swati, first time? We're not hearing you yet, Swati. Can't hear your voice, Swati. Can you hear me now? Yay, it works. Very nice, Swati. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, so, me too. <laughs> so Swati, are you in you're in Varanasi or you're in uh, New Delhi? Are I'm you, in Varanasi. 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 Okay. Varanasi. Var yeah. Varanasi. I have to get my pronunciation right. Uh, and and Kushpu, are you in New Delhi? Yeah, yeah, I'm in New Delhi. Okay, and uh, Jessica, are, you're in Yoga Yogyakarta, Indonesia, yes? Yeah, Yogyakarta. How do you say it? Yogyakarta. Georgia, Yogyakarta. Yeah. Okay. And the partner? New Delhi. New Delhi. Okay. And I'm in California. <laughs> it's just amazing, huh? Let's see. Um, so perhaps I, I'm hoping um, the other people will find their way to the Hangout. I, I think for future reference, um, I first send out an invitation. It, I think it's better if one person sends an invitation. If invitations come from different directions, then smartphones pick it up, and it gets very confusing. Um, and then the best way, second best way is to go in from the top of a Google Plus um, profile page and click join hangout I think How many people are we in total? Um, well, proof's in the pudding, but um, I think one person just, another person emailed this morning, um, so we could be tentatively 14 people on the list. Um, but this morning, I think maybe um, eight or nine or 10 of us have, were in um, Second Life. So. Um, So Jim and Christian are still um, communicating with me uh, in these other places. So um, we have to um, wait and s I'd like to wait a little bit longer. This is the first day, so uh, this is to be expected. Um, apologies, but um, we'll, be, we'll be up and going. And I, it is very useful to bo explore both of these venues.
So Jim is still emailing. Um, I'm not sure where Christian is. Um, we may have to test these out in the course of the week and see if we can all get into a hangout together um, at some point. So uh, Kushku and um, uh, Aparna and uh, Swati, you have um, introduced yourself a little bit. It's very, your research is very interesting. Um, can you type in the, the reference of the book um, you mentioned in second, on Harvard's Island? Um, here, because I don't think it came through in the group text in Second Life. And uh, Aparna or Kushpu, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, we can do that. Kushpu, you want to go first? Uh, you go ahead. <laughs> okay. So, uh, hi, I'm Aparna, and uh, I'm a PhD scholar at the University of Delhi. And, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay. So um, my PhD research is I'm I'll be completing one year of my registration this, uh, in uh, October, and my PhD research is uh, regarding uh, social media for the bottom of the pyramid in Jharkhand, which is one of the states in India. So um, we have a social media a voice running over there called Jharkhand Mobile Radio, or as the local lights call Jharkhand Mobile Vani. And um, on that, wait, uh, Aparna, you're, you're, you, what you're saying is very interesting, but it's, it's can you speak a little slower? Um, okay. And okay. there are times when words, uh, I'm not quite sure what 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 words you're saying. What is the state first that you're studying? Well, can can, can I just type, type it? Can you type it in? It, yeah. It'll help us clarify because we're across. Uh, thank you very much, Aparna. And, and then you, you're looking at the bottom of, from the bottom of the pyramid, and then um, continue from there. So uh, the name of the um, it's actually an IVR system, which is called Charter Mobile Vani or Charter Mobile Radio, as the locals popularly call it. Can you type and in RVR? Can you type in the RVR the system? Uh, ah, thank you. Interactive voice response. Okay. I hope all of us know, or I have to clarify. That's good. IVR is good. Uh, Christian was just messaging, um, and if he can get in, that would be great. So sorry to, inter to interrupt. Hang on one second. Sure. Okay, I, I, the book was um, Im Imagining the Internet by Robin Mansell. Thank you very much. Um, so, Aparna, you are um, focusing on IVRs um, in what ways? And um, 
in a particular village or um, w where in uh, Yarkand? It's um, actually it's the IVR system is open for everyone. We have so far uh, been able to cover 19 districts of the state, and uh, people call in from the 19 districts to read their messages or to hear to the messages left by others. And messages are usually social in nature. For example, um, messages regarding agriculture, uh, what kind of crops, what kind of seed, what kind of fertilizers, biofertilizers we should be using. So sometimes the replies are crowdsourced. The other times when the replies are not available, we have experts available. Uh, so agriculture was just one of the domains. There are this interesting activity that goes on uh, Jharkhand Mobile Review. So in a nutshell, we are trying to create a social media which is more like a community radio over uh, the IVR system. And uh, how we are planning to use that for my research is, um, I would like to know first of all what is the impact of such a system because Jharkhand Mobile, Jharkhand is which is uh, which has a lot of Naxalite activity going on. Can you can you follow me? So, uh, hello. Yeah, can hear you. Thank you. Yeah. So there's a lot of Naxalite activity going on because the uh, it's been ten to it's been thirteen years since the state has formed and the development structure is in shambles. So the people are picking up arms against the government to rebel. And that's why the government is not issuing Indian community radio licenses. And uh, in a way, it is within their informational exchange or an exchange that a community media can have. And in India, as Swati uh, pointed out, there are uh, the telecommunication network is very good. But internet connectivity, illiteracy, all these things hamper uh, communication. So, question and how other person uh, tries to answer that. Uh, what are their rights? What are their entitlements? They ask, how are we supposed to get avail of this thing? What are what are the requirements? Or is there is any particular corruption or some malpractice going on? They report on that. So it's a very interesting exchange. I can go on and on. So the, from this course, uh, my takeaway would be how to look at those social networks that are being created. Um, in the Fantastic. IDI Thank you very much. I wonder, have you, um, in in your literature search, if you want to call it that, looked at the Pew Center for Internet Research um, methodologies? They also employ a kind of survey approach. Um, mm -hmm. I think my, my hunch is um, they'll call up a thousand or fifteen hundred participants um, in their surveys and ask them a series of questions and from this um, perhaps they examine networks but they are able to focus specific sort of uh, research questions um, that now for them have a long-term horizon. Um, have you engaged the Pew uh, Center for Internet Research at all? Um, Not yet. I okay. just read it on the link that you'd sent. Mm -hmm. But I've never explored it before that point. Well, as you read the um, book networked, I hope you'll um, also look at the at the footnotes and references because I suspect that Lee Rainey's references will take you to specific studies that could come into communication with your own PhD research um, in interesting ways. I, I appreciate. That's the, that's the only challenge that I'm facing. How? Um, how best to keep a note of the networks, and you know that's the that's the entire question: how to do the social networking and how to study those networks. So uh, I think I'll be able to figure that out as we move ahead. It, so the Pew Center, I think, is asking very different questions. They they have a specific knowledge goal of how is the internet being used in the United States. How many people are on smartphones? Um, what are they using them for? And you're asking, you're, 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 I have the sense, 
um, providing this voice technology and then um, potentially um, studying how networks emerge as you provide this network this voice technology with specific questions is this roughly yeah, what the, you the participation of people the as their association with this system and the networks so uh, that's that's the uh, research question for this particular uh, social network analysis and is it in the in the discipline of sociology or um, sort of what's the What's the it's department? development communication. Development communication. Thank you. Okay. Interesting. Um, Kushbu, I'm interested in your research as well, but um, let me. I, I see an email or two here that um, from some course other course participants. Let me see if I can respond to that. Um, please okay. feel free to talk among yourselves or type chat and all that. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually, could you could you clarify that a little bit? Um, I'm sorry, like I could only cat get half of what you were saying because your voice was cutting out a lot. So I'm still not really familiar with what um, what is it IVR is. Uh, yeah, it's up to you. Although my chat is acting funny, it keeps showing up and then disappearing. <laughs> so, um, can you hear me if I say um, a little slowly? Yeah, maybe maybe slowly. Can can you hear me clearly? Yeah, yeah I can hear you very clearly. Oh yeah. Um, okay. So, um, tell me how uh, do you call the customer support centers? Um, whatever um, customer support centers are for your telephones, when you have to um, dial a number. Oh yeah. Service provider. Yeah, I, think, I guess I guess it's IVR. I, I guess I never really thought about what it was called. Yeah. So that's that's the um, essence. That's the system that we are using. Uh, like What's it for? Are, sorry. Uh, sorry, what's it for? Um, it's for uh, it's like a social media for the bottom of the pyramid. What, what is the, uh, the bottom of the pyramid? What do you mean by that? The, uh, it's for the people who are unable to read or write, and all, almost all the time denied access to entitlements. The uh, their entitlements, whatever government has planned for them. Okay. So uh, the state that I am working in um, has was created some 13 years back, but I mean, it was a, a part of a couple of other states. And since but it was what? It was created, uh, created okay. from already existing states in India because the uh, development indicators of that region were very poor. Can you hear me? Yeah. So the development indicators of that region, that's a tribal region, and uh, the development indicators of that region were very poor, due to which a new state had to be created. But uh, since then, uh, me if you were unable to hear. So what specifically is the, the system used for? It's used for, um, basically it's like a community media 
where people can talk about their day-to-day -day experiences regarding government schemes or uh, cultural exchange of Hong Kong or um, agricultural exchange. So whatever you do on a community media, the information is available over there. And uh, people decide what they want to talk about. It's just, it's hard for me to imagine how how that actually plays out. Can you give an example of, uh, you know, at a, I don't know, a farmer or something who's used the system? Because when I'm thinking of IVR, I just think of, you know, pressing the buttons to get to, to someone on the other end. So I'm not, I can't, I, I can't really imagine how, how it works. <laughs> Sorry. Did you hear me? What's ah there? Hello, Christian. <laughs> Fantastic. Can't hear you yet. Talk about the experiences regarding government or uh, cultural exchange of from or so so you 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 cut out for a while. Um, Whatever you do, can you can you yes. hear me? Um, sorry, uh, yeah, uh, for the last minute or so, I, had, I haven't been able to hear you. I think because the new person was added. Um, uh, uh, let, let, sorry, let's just let's just wait until. When I think of IVR, I just think of you know pressing the buttons to get to to someone on the other end. So I'm not. I can't. I can't really imagine. And now I'm just oh, hearing my own voice. Can, can you hear me? Or is what, uh, there, hello, Christian. Hello. Fantastic. Can you hear me? I can't hear you yet. Not yet. Sorry. Hello. <laughs> Hello, hello, can you hear me? Can you hear? Yes. Yes, we can hear you. Parna, what is the actual physical technological box that you give villagers so that they can receive these voice questions? Um, they have to use their own cell phones. They dial a number and uh, their call gets disconnected and the server calls them back. So that there is no charge to the end user, and uh, when they pick up the call, they are they hear three instructions. First one is, if you don't want to hear the item that is currently being played, press one to skip. Second one is, if you want to comment on any of the items, press two. And the third one is, if you want to create your independent item, press three. In what in what languages or in what language that, mostly? In Hindi. In Hindi, because that's the dominant language of that area. Um, but the prompts are in Hindi, but people from the tribal regions uh, who can understand Hindi and speak other languages, they we also publish their items. There are human moderators sitting who listen to all the items and then publish the ones that are noise free, that are legible, that have been verified and that are good to go. So that's how it is. Thank you. Um, 
we have uh, perhaps 14 minutes left or so, and we're fantastically gradually getting more people here. Uh, Kushfu, would you like to introduce yourself, um, both since you don't have video in voice, but also perhaps... Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I, I have just passed my master's this year, and it's been just three months I've started working at uh, an organization called PhD Chamber of Commerce and Industry, which is an autonomous body. And uh, before that, as a part of my master's research, I had uh, done my dissertation, uh, my research work on uh, a technology called GRINS, which is Grameen Radio Internet Working System. Community radio. Am I audible? Yes, you're audible. Yes, we can hear you well. Thank you for typing that too. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Grins is a technology which is uh, uh, which is actually put up in the CR stations, uh, which community radio stations, uh, in order to uh, lower down the time and effort of the. Uh, CR station staff and to in, uh, actually uh, involve more participation with the station staff by the people. So it, uh, it actually lessens the time and the effort of the CR station as well as increase the amount of uh, participation uh, amongst the people. So the research which I had did was um, on mapping the effects of the technology grins on people's participation in the CR station. It so for CR the study, stations, sorry, CR stations, CR stations, uh, community radio stations. Thank you. And uh, for the study, I uh, adopted a mixed method approach uh, in order to case profile the community radio stations. I actually did it in three community radio stations. Uh, one was uh, Al Faze Mewat, which is uh, in Mewat, one of the place in India, and uh, one was in uh, Gurgaon Ki Awaz. And, uh, and the third community radio station was Hevelwani community radio station. So there I adopted the most significant change technique approach and uh, I also did uh, the database analysis of the software grants and uh, with the community radio station staff people I uh, conducted a questionnaire. So that is how I was able to do my research and uh, in the conclusion it I was able to um, call out that uh, the technology grins has immense potential for uh, mobilizing the people participation and enhancing uh, their engagement uh, with the communities and enabling communities to amplify their voices uh, and empower people. So. Uh, that is how the technology grins uh, helps the CR station to face with several uh, challenges and it's uh, and I would also like to mention it's a low cost uh, technology uh, that helps the CR station in uh, enhancing and amplifying the voices and empowering the people. Thank you very much Kushpu, very interesting. Um, yeah. I look forward to um, talking more about it. Um, Thank you. In, we have about ten minutes left, and I do, I do would like, I would like to share, um, in general, in this second hour, more about the information technology revolution um, beyond introductions. Um, but I would like to hear your introduction, Christian, um, and just this sort of uh, course-related logistics. It seems um, <coughs> we've gotten. Six of us here, and Christian and Max or Bilal is, have been emailing me a fair amount, expressing their interest, but their inability to get into the Google Hangouts. Christian was finally able to get into the Google Hangout. So we need to think about um, uh, perhaps how we might proceed. I think Google Hangouts have a lot of um, advantage, but I don't want to cut people out of the course if they're interested either. So um, I perhaps Christian would you like to introduce yourself um, if 
I don't, Christian, you ask about what about Skype in the, um, in the te group text chat, and I don't know how group Skype works, um, but I think Google Hangouts may be a, um, among the uh, most robust and free. I, I have heard possibly that group Skype video costs money, but I don't know. Um, but Christian, would you introduce yourself in a um, minute or two, and then I'll start with what I have to share um, that I would like to share much more of in future weeks about. So Christian, your research interests? Ah, fantastic. Maybe we'll think about that um, in the future, uh, Christian, looking at Skype. Um, Maybe we'll test it outside of class with a group to, to compare so we don't use up course time, perhaps. Um, and because we were in, um, on Harvard's Island and there were eight of us, uh, it's possible we could spend you know, all two hours there. But I think group video has advantages in a variety of ways. Um, would you like to introduce yourself, Christian, or shall I start with what I have to say about this course um, more generally. You're Colombian, oh, fantastic, but you're living in Brazil. And your interest in the information age?
Great, Christian. Thank you for that introduction. It seems like many of us um, in this Google group video hangout uh, are interested in questions of um, how perhaps how people who are disadvantaged are accessing and using and um, perhaps um, affected by these information technologies. Um, and I hope we'll get to this um, much more. Uh, and perhaps we can also share about this in um, the Google group as well. I think it's a good writing exercise to um, characterize what one's doing. And perhaps we can look at that. Uh, Swati, I think you asked about a certificate also. And um, let me email more about that um, with time. Just in the remaining minute or so, um, what this second hour I have in mind for um, is a, a little bit about the information technology revolution and its history and geography. Um, and so what this course wants to ask is, what is information technology? Um, what came about? Uh, who did the economy and society? Um, and so what I hope to tie together are his, a sort of historical development to broader social and economic trends. And just to end um, with a definition of technology, um, Harvey Brooks, who is a theorist of um, the information age also and technologies, um, used a definition of technology that was then used by Daniel Bell and Manuel Castells. And that definition is the use of scientific knowledge to specify ways of doing things in a reproducible manner. So this is a very broad definition. But I think it will inform all of our research um, over time. And I can share some of these notes with you also from the previous courses I've taught. The blog is actually in the wiki, the World University and School page for this course. Um, it's at PB Works. But um, as a way to sort of close, um, I think all of our research interests will come together in fascinating ways around some of these questions. And I hope we'll be able to engage our research interests also in the group text chat um, as we go and um, focus uh, much on um, the book in the first hour and the course um, as I have it envisioned um, with what I would like to share in the second hour and develop a conversation also you know, in between in a variety of ways um, by befriending each other and um, coming into conversation with each other's research, perhaps because we've posted it on the web, for example. So it's very nice to meet you. And let's ask questions in uh, email and other venues. and. Um, it's impressive that perhaps nine of us were able to get together on Harvard's virtual island and six of us here and um, were able to perhaps create this conversation ahead for the next uh, through December 12th or so. So um, I thank you very much for uh, joining this course and um, would like to We'll carry on this conversation in other means. We can Google the Hangout, get meeting in Second Life also during the week between us as well. So questions or thoughts before we close? Great. Well, let's email everyone. And we'll be in touch and see you next week. Bye for now. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.